What's up, YouTubers? Navi17 here, bringing you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. Today, I will be doing Challenge 2 in the Deathstroke Arkham Origins Challenge on normal difficulty, so let's do it. For today's challenge, you have to have uh, Green Lantern on your team. So, as you see, I already have Green Lantern on my team. I have Loblo and Black Adam. Our first fight takes a thousand credits to skip, and it's against level 11 New 52 Flash, Sinestro, and Regime Catwoman. So let's start it. Every challenge in this uh, bracket costs one energy per fight and one credit, so. Alright, the fight has started, and I'm gonna breeze through these with my Lobo. As you see, it only took one hit to kill the Flash. One hit to kill Sinestro, and probably yep, one hit to kill Wonder Woman. I mean, Catwoman. The first fight in the challenge gives us 240 credits. Alright, moving on to the second fight. It is against level 12s, Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, and the Flash, and it takes 1,000 credits to skip it as well. No loading screen that time. Even though Green Lantern blocked, still beat him. Takes two light hits to kill Lex and one to kill the Flash. Alrighty. So, I mean, you see, these are pretty easy fights. Alright, that fight yielded us 260 credits. Moving on to the third fight in the challenge. It is against level 13, Cyborg, Harley Quinn, and Insurgency, Green Arrow. This fight also costs a thousand credits to skip if you want to skip it. You should just take a gold card and just run through it rather than skip it. And the fight is over with three heavy attacks taken out each one time. This fight will give us 280 credits. Moving on to the fourth fight in the challenge. It is against level 14's Regime, Solomon Grundy, Nightwing, and Insurgency Deathstroke with a damper field challenge on. Not really going to matter at this level of play, but on uh, Nightmare, that, sh that challenge can really suck. If you watch my Batman Red Sun, I was having some difficulty with it on the final chapter. Alright, down goes Grundy, and down goes Nightwing, and in comes Deathstroke, and down goes Deathstroke. For the fourth fight in the ladder, it will give us 300 credits, so about a 20 credit increase after every fight. Moving on to the next fight, it's against level 15's New 52 Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, and New 52 The Flash. Now it costs us 5,000 credits to skip. Again, no need to skip these fights. As you see, they go down in one hit if you use a gold card. Made short work of those cards as well. This fight yielded us 320 credits. Moving on to the sixth fight in the ladder. It is against level 16's Regime, Catwoman, Sinestro, and Insurgency, Green Arrow, with 5,000 credits to skip as well. Begin. Down goes Catwoman, in comes Sinestro, down goes Sinestro, in comes Green Arrow, and down goes Green Arrow. This challenge gives us 4,340 credits, so there's the random credit bonus. That's nice. It's going to help me open up more challenge booster packs. All right, the next fight in the challenge is against level 17's Nightwing, Regime, Solomon Grundy, and Harley Quinn. 5,000 credits to skip. Begin. Lobo tearing him with ease. In comes Solomon Grundy. Sometimes the game doesn't like do Solomon Grundy's uh, special trait that gives him back his health for some reason. I wonder why that happens. All right, that fight yielded us 360 credits. Moving on, our next fight is against level 18's Green Lantern, Cyborg, and the Flash with a challenge of Power Surge on. Begin. 
Down goes Green Lantern. Down goes Cyborg. And down goes the good guys in the Hall of Justice. That fight yielded us 380 credits. Two more fights, so I have to switch out my cards here. The next fight is against level 19's new 52 Green Lantern, Lex Luthor, and Sinestro. Sinestro. Now they now they cost 10,000 credits to skip. Down goes Green Lantern. In comes Lex. Down goes Lex. And see if I can. Yep. And I'll get Sinestro with a heavy attack. I wanted to get him before he uh, started attacking, but that didn't happen. That fight yielded us 400 credits that time around. Moving on to the next fight, it is against level 20's Insurgency Deathstroke, Regime Catwoman, and Insurgency Green Arrow. Costs 10,000 credits to skip as well. After this fight, I'm going to have to switch out my cards for the last two fights in the Challenge Tower. The fight begins, and down goes Deathstroke. Tagged in Catwoman, down goes Catwoman, and... Green Lantern blocked my heavy attack, barely survived, so I hit him with a punch to the face, light attack, tap. Tenth fight is in the bag, and it yields us 420 credits. Alright, now I have to switch out my team right here, so I'm going to put in the new 52 Green Lantern. Green Lantern. Going to put in Batman, Batman. and going to put in Batman, Batman. Beyond. Doesn't really matter who I use. Uh, the next fight in the challenge tower is against level 21s, and it's against Lex Luthor, Insurgency, Deathstroke, and Regime Solomon Grundy. Still 10,000 credits to skip. Doesn't really matter who you use. You just want to breeze through it. Got a crit on Deathstroke right there. In comes Grundy. Down goes Grundy with a crit of 3,078 damage. <clears throat> The 11th fight in the challenge gives us 440 credits, and now we're on our way to the final fight. The final fight, folks, is against level 22's Cyborg, Green Lantern, and New 52 Flash, and it has a random challenge of regeneration on. Costs us 10,000 credits to skip, so let's do it. Down goes Daddy Issue Superhero. Down goes Intergalactic Cop, and down goes Beefy Science Nerd Police. For the final fight in the tower, it gives us only 460 credits, but we got the random credit bonus in the challenge tower earlier, so that's nice. Well, that will conclude my Injustice video for today. That was the entire second challenge in the... Deathstroke Arkham Origin Challenge. If you like my video, please throw it a like its way. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want more Injustice video. Comment on the video. What do you think about the challenge in uh, Deathstroke Arkham Origin so far? Uh, thank you for watching and take care, folks.